Yep, it's another one. Figured you all get the unboxing and everything. Steak knife, because only the best. Uh, I figured you all would love to be here to see this unboxing just as much as me. Another Christmas in July, I guess. Ah, there's a, a nifty idea for packing things. Spring water. Empty jugs to keep from moving. I would have actually never thought about that. So. Uh, sorry, I've got the camera actually on a stand this time. I'm not free holding it. Probably got to be making somebody busy somewhere. I could go for a beer right about now. Next time I'm going to invest into using jugs. But. Circle K. Oh, look at that. So. Uh, this guy really liked this water and his teeth. But anyways, here we are. In a trash bag too. So. I just got off work, so I'm, I'm a little bit fried in the brain, but I've been excited. This was supposed to have arrived Saturday. According to the USPS. But anyways, here we are. We have it. This is my first one. Considered muscle saw car engine one, but at 21 pounds, just the motor head alone, I make the dead rice at 25. We have, see that? Yep. All right. We have a 1960 McCulloch 1-71. This is my first right hand start, first cart engine and muscle saw. Absolute beast. Now, I bought it knowing it does not have ignition, however, I don't know if it's just a simple switch or if it needs points and condensers, which I do have those on the way, or a coil, which I'm still trying to source that down. but. Good compression. Oh yeah. Starter's side's a little loose. Oh, okay. It's all integrated into one. I've never messed with one of these before, so I have no idea on how everything goes together. Other than I do have a parts manual for it. And I only got like very short time to observe that, but over here there is a screw. I'm trying to look at the camera at the same time. Undo that, and you have access to the back covers and whatnot and everything. This will be a two-part video tomorrow outside. More or less we'll be uh, getting more into it and everything and checking stuff out. Right now I'm just unboxing and inspecting. And I wish I had a screwdriver to look at some because I honestly want to see the carburetor. From what I saw... I got a knife here. From what I saw that used a McCulloch is what one website said. But everything else uses Tulsun is what it was saying. So... It's kind of up in the air. Nice metal cover. And this was the first year that these went to an internal points and condenser setup, at least internal points. Because the Model 170, they were on the outside. And I'm told this was a 171 because it looked exactly like it, but the top cover is kind of a giveaway. And it is a McCulloch carb, not the Tulsan that was being said. So, make sure you guys, yeah, you can see that. Okay. So, that's the choke for starting. Ooh, and that's the oiler. I can hear it, so apparently it uh, works. Yeah, I can hear it up there. Don't know how long it's been sitting, any of that history or whatnot, but I'd like to think I can convert this over to a Tillerson carb simply because the rebuild kits are much easier to find and cheaper rather than these flat back ones 
which I think this one is, that run around $32, I can get a rebuild kit for as low as 5 bucks. I know those are the China ones, but I've never had a problem, but even 25 bucks, that can... That was a very odd choke, but I guess that was back in 1960. So, let's see what the gas tank looks like here. Hmm. Well, it looks like a rubber seal shot, so be sure to note that. It's clean on the inside. I have no idea how any of the... I definitely got to look over the schematics of this thing for sure. No idea. Old gas smelling. It looks like it's actually real gasoline. So it's been sitting that long. That's the case. No air filter. Oh, there is an air filter. Look at that. It came off with it. So, got an air filter. It's an Allen bolt somebody put in there and over there, so somebody's been in there before. And from what I have seen, some people have actually modified it to where you can have pull starts on both sides, and I can see the screws in there to be able to do such thing. I'm not going to do that to this one, though. I mean, I guess that'd be good if you were out in forestry work and your one side broke, you'd still have a backup, but it's got the very nice large falling spikes there. Hope the ignition is just something simple, but that is an absolute beast, an absolute monster. It looks like, yeah, those were just rubber dampeners up on the top that failed and everything. No biggie. First goal is to get it running, but my plan on this one is to try and uh, make it look original, at least a good paint job. very pleased so all right well should be either I'm going to splice the video together or I've taken the part and diagnosing stuff or we're going to wrap this one up we'll find out but instructions to start yeah looks like it was used very well full wrap handle I like that about the saws and everything Looks pretty complete, so. Supposedly it was a 404 chain, which is what this one looks like it is. I've seen some that come in half, but that looks like a 404 sprocket. And it looks, it looks like it was not even used, really, barely. So who knows the history behind it? So it's probably had a sprocket redone on it, which I don't doubt. But this came from the New England area of the U.S. Can't remember what state I ordered it from, the guy from. But he was selling off his collection of saws and everything and starting over. He was wanting to start a business, actually. So I saw this in a picture of another one he was selling and asked him about it. And he said, this is what it is. And he gave me the price. And I said, oh, okay, well, it'd be nice to have a first muscle saw. So I figured this one would be it. Wish I had the tools to get in there. But I don't at the moment. I'll have to look more into how to take it apart and everything. But that's, I guess we'll save that for another video. So, alrighty. Well, thanks for watching. And next time should be theoretically going through and trying to find out why it doesn't have ignition. Maybe just dirty points. Maybe just a bad on and off switch wherever it's at on this. Oh, there it is. Off, on. So it could be a bad on and off switch for all I know. So, all right. Thanks for watching. That'll end part one.